Have you ever thought what the biggest thing in the universe is? A question that tickles the curiosity of many. Our universe, an unimaginably vast expanse, is a playground of cosmic marvels. It's a place where size and scale become nebulous concepts. A realm where celestial bodies defy our earthly perceptions of big. From the smallest particles to the grandest structures, the universe is a symphony of the colossal and the microscopic. We have planets, stars, galaxies, and clusters of galaxies, each more massive than the last. Yet, these celestial bodies are mere specks in the cosmic tapestry, tiny fragments of the universe's grand design. As we probe deeper into the universe, we encounter phenomena that challenge our understanding of size and scale. These cosmic giants dwarf everything we know, pushing the boundaries of our comprehension. So what is the biggest thing in the universe? Let's dive into the universe and explore the biggest things we know of. We begin our journey closer to home with the planets in our solar system. Imagine our home, Earth, a sprawling sphere of life and diversity. Now consider this. Our Earth is just a small child in the family of planets. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Each one is unique and varying in size. The smallest of the bunch is Mercury, about three times smaller than Earth. Venus and Mars are roughly similar in size to Earth, our siblings in the vast cosmic playground. But the real giants of the family are Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter, the king of planets, is over 11 times the diameter of Earth. Picture a hollow Jupiter, it would take over a thousand Earths to fill it up. Saturn, while smaller than Jupiter, is still about nine times the size of Earth. The ice giants, Uranus and Neptune, are no small fry either. Both are about four times the size of Earth. So our Earth, with all its mountains, oceans and skies, is but a speck in the grand scheme of the solar system. Yet despite our humble size, Earth is the only planet we know of that harbors life, making it a giant in its own right. This gives us a sense of how large things can get in our own solar system. But as we venture further into the cosmos, these sizes become even more mind-boggling. As large as these planets are, they pale in comparison to the stars. Beyond the realm of planets, we encounter stars, fiery celestial bodies of immense size. Now we're all familiar with our own sun, a seemingly vast blazing sphere radiating energy and life. But in the grand cosmic scale, our sun is nothing more than a modest middle-aged star a mere speck in the infinite universe. Let's put things into perspective. Our sun, the beacon of our solar system, is over one million kilometers in diameter. That's more than 100 Earths lined up side by side. But when we compare our sun to some of the other known stars in the universe, it's like comparing a grain of sand to a mountain. Take Betelgeuse, for instance. This red supergiant in the constellation of Orion is so large that if it were to replace our sun, it would extend beyond the orbit of Mars. Yes, you heard that right, Mars. Betelgeuse is nearly 700 times bigger than our sun. But hold on to your hats because we haven't even reached the big leagues yet. Say hello to Ui Scuti, the current record holder for the largest known star, an absolute behemoth. Ui Scuti is so big that it's hard to even imagine. If Ui Scuti were to replace our sun, its surface would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter. Just think about that for a moment. A star so large it could engulf the largest planet in our solar system. UI Scuti is around 1,700 times the size of our sun. Such is the mind-boggling magnitude of stars. They're not just points of light in the night sky, but colossal spheres of burning gas dwarfing our sun and everything we know. The sheer enormity of these stellar giants is a humbling reminder of our tiny place in the universe. Incredible as these stars are, there are structures even larger in the cosmos. Beyond stars, we find galaxies, vast collections of stars, dust, and dark matter. Each galaxy is a magnificent ensemble, a silent symphony playing out across cosmic time. In our quest to decipher the enormity of the universe, we'll first look closer home at our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy, a radiant blend of billions of stars, gas, and dust. If you could step away and view it from afar, it would appear as a dazzling disk, its arms whirling around a bright central bulge. To give you an idea of its size, if we were to traverse its width at the speed of light, it would take us a staggering 100,000 years. But the Milky Way is not an anomaly. It is but one among billions of galaxies scattered across the cosmos. Some are smaller, like the quaint Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy, which is a mere 25,000 light years in diameter. 
Others, however, dwarf our Milky Way in comparison. Take, for instance, the colossal IC 1101, which is about 6 million light years in diameter. To put that into perspective, it's as if you could fit 60 Milky Ways side by side. Each galaxy is unique, a testament to the universe's propensity for diversity. There are spiral galaxies, elliptical galaxies, irregular galaxies, each with their own unique characteristics and sizes. But what's truly mind-boggling is the sheer number of galaxies that exist. Current estimates suggest that there are about two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. Galaxies, with their breathtaking variety and stunning scales, are the building blocks of the universe. Their vastness is a testament to the grandeur of the cosmos. However, even galaxies, with their billions of stars and unimaginable scales, are not the largest structures in the universe. As vast as galaxies are, there is still a larger structure in the universe. The largest known structure in the universe is not a planet, a star, or a galaxy, but a network of galaxies known as the cosmic web. Just as a web spun by a spider is interconnected by strands of silk, the cosmic web is a vast network of galaxies bound together by the irresistible pull of gravity. This colossal structure stretches across billions of light years, dwarfing everything else we've discussed so far. At the heart of this web we find galaxy clusters, massive congregations of galaxies held together by their mutual gravitational attraction. These clusters are the nodes, the anchor points of the cosmic web, and they're often made up of hundreds or even thousands of galaxies. Connecting these clusters are filaments, tendrils of galaxies that stretch across the void, creating a vast, intricate network. These filaments are the highways of the cosmic web, the threads that weave the universe together into a grand tapestry of cosmic proportions. Between the clusters and filaments lie vast voids, seemingly empty spaces that are devoid of galaxies. These voids, however, are not empty. They're filled with dark matter and dark energy, mysterious substances that make up about 95% of the universe and exert a profound influence on its structure and evolution. In the grand scheme of things, our Milky Way galaxy is but a tiny speck, a single node in this vast cosmic web. We are part of a larger galaxy group known as the Local Group, which in turn is part of a larger structure called the Virgo Supercluster. And this supercluster is just one of countless others that make up the cosmic web. The study of the cosmic web allows us to understand the large-scale structure of the universe and how it has evolved over billions of years. It's a testament to the power of gravity, the force that shapes the universe and binds everything together. This vast cosmic web is the largest structure we know of, but the universe may still hold bigger mysteries. Our journey through the universe has revealed some mind-boggling scales. We've traversed through the cosmos, from the smallest of planets to the largest of stars, and even beyond to the vast galaxies and the intricate cosmic web. Remember those tiny planets we first visited? We started off with Earth, our home, a mere speck in the grand scheme of things. Then we ventured out to the gas giants in our own solar system, their sizes dwarfing our home planet. Yet, even the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, is minuscule compared to the Sun. The Sun, our star, burning brightly in the cosmic sea, is but one of a multitude of stars, each varying wildly in size. Some stars, like UI Scuti, are so large that they could swallow up our entire solar system. Beyond the stars, we have galaxies, colossal structures made up of billions, even trillions of stars. Our Milky Way is just one of these numerous galaxies, and it's not even the largest. Some galaxies, like IC 1101, are so vast they contain over 100 trillion stars. And then there's the Cosmic Web, a grand network of galaxies, dark matter and gas that spans the entire universe. This is the largest known structure in the universe, a testament to the incredible scale of the cosmos. The universe is a place of unimaginable scale, and who knows what we might discover next in our exploration of the cosmos. So, dear cosmic voyagers, buckle up and prepare to be transported to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. Together, let's embark on a journey of discovery unlike any other as we seek to unravel the secrets of the universe and unlock the mysteries of its vastness. Don't forget to watch, share and subscribe to stay updated on our cosmic adventures. Until next time, keep looking up. Shakteshwar Prasad.